So I've been asked about clear pieces such as this. When you clip them from the tree, like so, you have these nub marks here. And I've been asked about sanding them and how to how to go about working on these. So there's this nub mark here. I'm just gonna go ahead and roughly sand away that nub mark. And you'll see that this part is getting a little bit cloudy because I'm sanding it now once I the sanding or the sanding causes this cloudiness because it's uh, light when it hits this part it's refracting all over the place so that it you don't see it's not looking clear but I could go ahead and keep polishing polishing this with you know, higher fire and finer and finer grits you also notice that some of these parts have these mold lines that run up and down these uh, pieces. Best thing to do is also sand these mold lines. So once you're done kind of sanding most of that nub away, you can run your fingernail across and check that it's gone. I usually like to go in with some higher and higher grits of sanding pads. And this basically polishes it and kind of get rid of the cloudiness as much as possible. So you see this is still cloudy. I can still sand this down. And at any time I could go back and use a little lower grit and kind of mesh everything up nicely. And I'm not applying too much pressure, I'm just letting the sanding pad do its job. So you see that it's a lot less cloudy. I can go in and take some very fine uh, mesh, sanding mesh, and polish this even more. Now, as much as you polish this, it's not going to get completely clear to fix that and you see it's kind of it's gotten pretty clear to fix this you would take uh, some super clear like so and I guess my better judgment I'm gonna spray right here so we can see how this works let me get a little something to protect this with protect my mat with I could go ahead and you can see that it's very very clear. Once this completely dries, it's uh, it'll be clear because um, when you polish this, it gets very very fine. So this actually fills in those fine little spots, so that once it dries, it's uh, you don't no longer have that refraction, and you'll see complete through the part. I'm going to set this aside because I have another, another piece I want to, you know, examine. So let's uh, hold this like so. And set it aside. Now another thing I notice on this these pieces is there's some mold, line, mold markings here. There's round circular markings right here and here. Now I could sand this off and you know blend that in, but that's kind of a pain in the ass to do. Now what a neat little trick that you can do is you have this stuff, you have a little bit of um, styrene glue. I'm using Tamiya Extra Thin for this purpose. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill that. Now again, this is a clear piece and if I fill this with putty, it's no longer a clear piece. So how do I go about fixing that? Now take my hobby knife and you always have leftover sprue here. So I'm gonna clip some leftover sprue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my hobby knife and cut some shavings down. Now you'll notice that these shavings are not are not clear they're kind of 
white because again lights refracting off everything so once I have some amount of shavings down here put that together I can look for my my mold line which is that circle right there take some of this styrene glue and just apply a little bit over that dab over that circle you see that circle will kind of disappear with the with the glue applied but it's not actually gone what I will do now is I'm going to put the shavings over that circle area and once I have my shavings over that circle area I'm just going to apply more glue and this melts that clear over that uh, circular area so I'm going to apply a couple, just a little bit more shavings apply more glue and you can see that this kind of melts it onto the surface like so and you can see now that I've pretty much created a little bit of a bump where that circle used to be so I know that my circle is right here it's matching up there's a, there's a circle here and there's a well actually there's a mold mark here and there's a mold mark there so basically with my shavings I've created a little bump and I'm just gonna put this there and let this sit and cure now the same problem exists on this piece is I have that circle or mold line or mold marking here and for this, this is actually kind of fairly deep and just, you know, kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So for here, I have a dried, pretty much dried, what I've done with the same process here, using shavings from this and, and glue to put that together. Now I'm just going to take my sanding stick and sand the area smooth. Now once I have the majority of that excess removed, I can check this part and make sure it's still um, smooth. I can go with the higher grits and continue my sanding to smooth everything out. And different sanding meshes just so I could get finer and finer. And get even finer with the high uh, high grit sanding mesh I have here. Now usually when you're filling seams or filling holes with putty, you prime to check your work. Now since this is a clear piece, you can't really prime this, but you can spray it with a clear gloss and see how that how that uh, co is covered up. And if it's not covered up, you just kind of have to re-sand it slightly, buff it out a little bit more, and then spray another layer of clear gloss. And this will effectively be uh, priming this part instead of priming a um, solid piece or a uh, solid color you're priming a clear part using um, clear paints so now that this has been fairly polished up I'm gonna bring this back over here as my little shield get my can of uh, Super clear gloss. And carefully just spray that on there. Now, as this uh, sort of ventilation clears a little bit, you'll see that well, this might still have a little bit of cloudiness that I need to fix, but once this dries up, this should be pretty clear. 
and you can see that that hole or that mold line that used to be there is no longer there. Now you make that comparison with where the mold line is or mold marking is on here. You see that the mold marking is very, very clear on here and uh, you can't really see it on this part that I worked on. And that's the same process as just filling this area with um, excess uh, runner, the clear runner, and using the glue to put that in there. And this is how you would uh, fill um, mistakes or divots in clear pieces by using the this, uh, its own runner as the filling material and the styrene glue. Thanks for watching.